Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is Valheim and we continue. This time we're going to be making some upgrades to both our equipment and our base and hopefully making some progress towards the Bronze Age. I'll just show you our skills before we jump in here. Bow's currently at 34 points. Axe is not doing too bad at 25 points. And I've just come out to the edge of the Blackwood Forest here because there's a troll inside just on the outside here so I can show you how good this bow has got. And I also need to gather some core wood. But we was using our crude bow. And I managed to get a little bit of fine wood. Kind of drop from another tree. And we can show you the difference between this bow and the crude bow. There is a chance that we can get a knockback on this as well. There was one just there. So we can get a stun with it. Oh, and a critical there. And as you can see, it's making short work of this troll. Just get out of his way. But yeah, really liking this bow. And sometimes, like I say, it gets that stun as well. Just gives you time. There we go. There it was again to recover. And this is only level one fine bow. So it's definitely much more useful in the Blackwood Forest. So that's another troll down. And I'm going to try and get the full troll kit. So I want to go for the leggings, the pants and the uh, cape as well because we get a bonus when we can equip all four of them. So we're going to try and kill as many trolls as we can see. And oh, I'll have that. And we just need to get some cool wood. So cool wood we get from the fir trees. We can only cut pine and fir trees at the moment. And when we make our bronze axe, we can gather some of the beech and oak trees to get more fine wood and cool wood. But for the moment we need some cool wood because I want to make the stag breaker which is possibly the best weapon you can make in the early game. It's a giant hammer. And to do that, well, we need some core wood. There we go. I'll just bring this back to base. Also need to make some furniture. What are you two doing hiding in here? I'll have it. It's free food and hide. <laughs> Yoink. Thank you very much. Let's get back to base. Okay, so moving on to the stag breaker. We did need that core wood. Requires a couple of leather scraps and some deer trophies. The core wood, I'm gonna need to get plenty more of that because we need to do some upgrades around our base so we can increase that rested bonus. So I need to build some furniture and that's gonna help improve that. Where's the stag breaker gone? Just at the top here. So it requires 20 core wood, five deer trophy and two leather scraps and it does a knockback of 150 it does require a little bit of stamina to use weighs four so i'll just put this on our hot bar and i'll just show you what this can do i think i'll go and use it outside because it might end up destroying some of the building in here but really useful if you're getting mobbed then it does this pushback and yeah so at a pinch it does require a bit of stamina but a really really good weapon as well you can see we're getting a reduced movement speed here as well now it is only the base one we do need to upgrade it further but at the moment we do get a minus 20 percent movement speed so i suppose it is fairly heavy while we've got it equipped so i'll just put it in our inventory for now but we'll keep it on us so in order to progress any further here, we need to get some more Sertling cores. And I've located a dungeon across the water here, but we can't continue to burn food in order to power our forge and get coal that way. So we need that coal kiln. And uh, I'll just get our stamina back, otherwise we'll sink. Swimming is definitely a skill we need to level up as we progress, especially when we get out in the water there. We lose our boat. But yeah, like everything else, the more you do it, the better you get. So I've just set up a campsite, which is a little bit further up this way. And here's this campsite I've set up just on the edge of the Blackwoods. And, ooh, hey, a free fish. Nice, okay. 
I think I'll cook this up now, see what sort of stats we get for it. Right, step one, put and grip. This is the butt that'll wake up the missus. You've just lost a finger. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see what the fish gives us stats wise. And free fish, can't go wrong. There we go, so 45 health, 25 stamina, as opposed to 40, 30 on the stamina with the meat. So a little bit more health with the fish. Yeah, I can definitely hear a hive somewhere in amongst these ruins. We miss one somewhere. Can hear it. There you are. Just get rid of you. So I was hoping to stumble across another beehive. I've got a couple of queen bees, so we're going to be able to make some sort of farm. Let's just activate the stone as well. That's just marked where the next boss location is on our map, the Eldar. So we'll be, no doubt be facing off with that bus soon. Probably a little bit too soon just yet. I'd like to get a few more upgrades together. To start crafting some better food before we face the Eldar boss. But to help with the food, well, another beehive is great. So you just need to stand back and shoot these things. And I've already got a couple. So three's a good number. And uh, we'll get our Averys up and running. Is it Averys or Averys? Averys for bees. Averys for birds. Learning about the birds and the bees with me. But yeah, so we'll get some beehives up and running. We'll start getting some honey. And uh, we also need to learn how to make the cooking pots so we can start crafting some better dishes. Let's just check around in this little village here. Might as well grab a few of these berries. Again, all going to be used in better crafting for food later on. These necktails are pretty good as well. Start. They don't drop hide, but the food is pretty good. And, oh, fantastic. Another beehive. Just what we wanted. So I think that makes four that I'll have. Check out what's in this chest. Uh, I only got honey back then. Just check if it's dropped outside. Uh, we'll take the feathers and the arrows. We will get rid of. Yeah, we don't need the tree seeds. And it's tired raining as well. Oh, I love the weather in this game. Yeah, there was the queen bee. Just dropped on the outside. Yeah, it really, really does set an atmosphere. The thunder. It's, it's just, yeah, I love how the weather rotates in this. You know, it does add just an extra level of immersion. Love it. So we need to head out to this dungeon. So I'm just going to go and drop some of this stuff back off at the camp. And we'll see if we can get any more circling cores. I've marked off a couple of spots of copper. And uh, I've been gathering some tin as well while we're over here. Oh, is that a crow? I haven't shot a crow yet. I don't know if they give us any more feathers back than the seagulls. But I need feathers. <laughs> they just go with such a squish. I think the birds make the loudest splat in the game. Uh, I feel bad now. Right, let's equip the fire arrows. So, we could do with another at least five circling cores and well, this is the only place we can get them so hopefully in here there's plenty of them there's always treasure in here as well of course we haven't found the vendor yet so we can't spend it skeleton straight on us here I'm not sure if they can actually get up this little entrance here they pathfinding so it feels a little bit cheaty to retreat back here. Okay, that one's down. Make sure I get all of these mushrooms. Okay, what's behind door number two? Let's go back there. I can see some cores at the back. There's definitely something in this room. Got a stun there and a critical. A couple of skellies just at the back in the corner here. 
Yeah, I'm really fond of these fire arrows, especially in the dungeon. It just helps light things up as well. Just one more. There we go. So we've got a chest. Let's see what's in that. I'll take it all of it. Rubies. I want to have a look around the floors as well. I should really bring a torch in these dungeons because quite often there's gems and jewels just laying around the floor. I want to make sure we clean everything out. Okay, door number three. And we've got a skeleton spawner and a rancid skeleton. We need to get rid of the spawner otherwise they're continuously just spawning. But that would be a good way to farm the bone fragments. I'm getting plenty of bone fragments at the moment, and I just want to clear this dungeon out. Oh, quite a few misses there. It just seems a bit taller here. Yeah, it's got stuck on the top here. Can't quite get out of the room it's in. Okay, so what else have we got in here? See any jewels? Ah, oh, plenty of certain cores in here. Nice. And that's what I'm talking about. I can I can already see there's some pearls and rubies just here. So yeah, you really want to keep an eye out in the dungeons, make sure you don't miss anything. It'll probably frustrate you guys if you see it on the camera as well. You'd be like, oh no, James, you've just missed one back there. But yeah, I'll keep checking around. Yeah, it might be an idea, like I say, to bring that torch into the dungeons. Again, I forgot to make one. It's an extra space as well in the inventory. So I think that's everything. Managed to get a really good haul of certling cores out of this dungeon. I'll just check how many we've got, but we have plenty enough now to certainly make the coal kiln. We can get that up and running. Probably get another forge as well, so 14 cores. Okay, so we're back at base and I've managed to get quite a bit of copper and tin together or as much as I can. Haven't been able to smelt it because I don't want to continuously burn food in order to make coal. So let's start by getting our coal kiln down and then we can stoke the forge and start getting some of this metal that we've gathered smelted and we'll see what new crafting things open up from there. So we just come in here, we we'll go to crafting coal kiln. Let's get one of these down. I want to put it outside here. Um, perhaps just facing the forge on this side. I can do some more landscaping and perhaps make these just come inside the, the rocks. So I'll just put it outside for now. Of course we can put it down. We can still get the certling cores and everything back if we need to move it and I think I might get a couple of these up and running but I need to get a better axe in order to chop some of these trees down all these birch trees and get them moved and rearrange things so here we go just put the wood inside that's much easier and that will just over time give us some coal back we can start smelting some of this iron and there we go it's going to take us a little while to do. And that should be full. Okay. So we also need to get our forge up and running. I guess we'll stick that somewhere around here. Um, perhaps next to our crafting bench. So it acts like another crafting bench exactly the same way. But this is where we're going to be able to craft our bronze stuff. So the forge, we need some stone coal, wood and six copper. Well, we've definitely got the required copper and wood. We should have plenty of that just back here. Okay, stone. Yep, got that. Also got the coal coming. And what else was it? Six of the bronze, sorry, six of the copper. There we go, 
20 of the copper. Let's just grab six out of here like so. And I think, yeah, I think the best place to put it is right next to this chest. That's where I'm keeping all of the hide and things at the moment. It can sit between both of the crafting benches then there. I'll just put that just here. Oh, and a load of new things just opened up here. Okay, just stoke up a little bit more coal. And we can start crafting some tools now. So I have crafted some bronze ingots and uh, I've made some bronze nails as well. That's given us some options to craft some basic boats. And let's just drag this over here. We'll just craft 15 more bronze ingots. So this does it five at a time. So let's just do a few of these. And I'm going to concentrate on making the tools first. There is a selection of heavier armour that we could make, but we certainly need the axe and the cultivator. I'm definitely going to have to craft this as well. We've got some carrot seeds so we can begin farming, so we'll do that. And the bronze pickaxe, that's definitely going to be much better than our current one. May even upgrade that further as well just to give it more durability. Um, I think it's better to invest in the tools first rather than the armour. I quite like the troll armour, so I'm going to go for a full set of that and try and upgrade it. And I think that's serving us just fine out in the Blackwoods. And of course the bronze axe. I've been waiting for this since the start of the playthrough. Now we can finally chop down the birch trees and the oak trees. And get ourselves some fine wood. Okay. So... I would like to make the bronze buckler, I think, as well. Quite like the shield. That might be a good good one to have. Um, but yeah, we'll hold off on crafting the armour. I think we'll just invest everything into the tools rather than the armour before we do that. So let's repair all of this. Swap some things around now. So and we can test out our axe. And I know exactly what I want to do. I want to get rid of this log that's been bugging me. Now we can get fine wood. This is great. Over encumbered at the moment. Can we put any more? Nope. Let's just shift some weight. Put some more of this stuff away. And bronze ingots back. Don't need that. Okay, so I've been busy and I've made a little bit of a garden area just at the front here and put a fence around the outside. Just sort of leveled it all off and we're going to use this cultivator now we can start growing some carrots I also want to put the beehives or the apiaries down somewhere around here okay so this works exactly the same as the hoe and in this area here now we're going to be able to plant some carrots and I have got half a dozen or so so if we just get some started and then obviously when we harvest them, we can get some seeds back and uh, start growing plenty more vegetables. Again, we want to be able to cook some better recipes. I think I want to have a pathway just sort of coming down the middle of this. And if we just have to swap that around for the hoe. Just go and grab them carrot seeds as well. We can plant trees, of course, as well with this if we want to. And we're probably going to need to. We've been chopping down plenty of them, so I'll uh, no doubt plant some more. Keep some wood close to us. Eventually, I'm going to have a path coming down here leading to some sort of harbour area. And I'll just split this up here. So we've got a pathway coming up and around. Yeah. That'll work. That'll work just for now. Let's just grab the carrot seeds. So I've just been putting all the seeds that we need just in here. Uh, pine seeds. So here we go. Carrot seeds. So I've got 13 of them. And when we finally harvest them, if we replant the carrots... They'll, they'll come up as seeds and we should get free seeds for every carrot back so we just need to space them out 
And I don't know if I've got enough to do both sides. Just plant them out just along here. And one more. How many have we got left? I've only got four seeds, so um, maybe I'll make this area for the bees. We could put the beehives along there. And yeah, that, that'll work. We'll just put these last four in between here where there's some gaps. That'll do. I've got any more? No, that was everything. Okay. I'll wait for them to grow. And I'll just go and grab the queen bees and some wood. And we'll build some beehives just along the front here as well. Yeah, I think they'll work there. I think it looks healthy. They're all growing okay, so that should be fine. And there we go. So, got enough to make four. So, we want to space them out along the front here. Evenly. Make somewhat of an order of them. Obviously squeeze more in, just like the carrots as well. Yeah, I think they'll sit quite nicely just at the front here. Okay. I'll just bring some more fence out. Just add something else with that. Um, a fence. Turn this round like so. And I'm just going to have to put a crafting bench down in order to do this. Go back to fences and flip it round on the outside. Sort of just put some fences down to space out in between them. And I'm missing wood. Need some more wood. Just, that makes it look like a bit more of a, a dedicated section. That should do it. Okay. Think. Yeah. Just here. just put one between each of the beehives and then it just uh, just gives a little bit more I think there we go so hopefully over time these guys are going to produce us plenty of honey and we've got our carrots on the go as well don't need this anymore okay pretty happy with that and just check on these the bees are happy, so if they're happy, they're going to be making honey. Just got to be careful with how far apart you space them out. Okay, I like it. And I think we made quite a bit of progress here for one day. I've also managed to craft a full set of the troll hide armor. And even though the bronze armor is going to offer a lot more armor value, I have still gone for a full set of this because we get this sneaky bonus effect and it gives us a 25% bonus to our sneak value and we can also upgrade this armor even further so even though we've only got 19 points in armor for wearing it we can keep on upgrading it and uh, push it up a lot higher I think it's going to serve us quite well in the black forest and uh, I like having that sneak bonus our carrots are all doing fine they seem pretty healthy and uh, it looks like our bees have actually made us some honey. Fantastic. So again, cooking is something we're definitely going to have to unlock. We're going to need these ingredients for future recipes, no doubt. And uh, cooking is something we still need to unlock. Okay, and our carrots are doing just fine. I'm going to replant some of them as well. At the moment, the honey by itself doesn't really give us much back in terms of health and that. But it will work as an ingredient, I'm sure. And as soon as some of these carrots are grown, I'll replant some of them and we'll get a big farm of them on the go. 
so we'll be able to make some of the more advanced recipes and then we can think about taking on the Eldar boss. So I'll just stick this honey away in here. It's fine. Just trying to save some of these more rarer ingredients. I'm just making do with eating the necktails at the moment. Now we can make a few more upgrades. We could, like I say, we could craft that armor up, but I think I'm going to upgrade our pickaxe. One of the reasons for that is just the durability on it at the moment. It uh, it goes down so quick I can't even fill up my inventory when we take out the bronze pickaxe. So currently durability of 120. If we upgrade it, we'll get 170. But it does require an upgrade to the bench to do that. Okay, let's just shove the anvil down next to the bench, I think, just here. And I want to get rid of this wood. I don't think we'll make it. We'll just drop it on the floor. Get some more coal on the go. Just recover the stamina. Do the old Ark Survival Evolved trick. There we go. Get plenty of kill coal on the go. Shove that in the kiln like so. And now we can make some upgrades. So, like I say, I could craft the armor, but I think the first upgrade I'm going to do is to the pickaxe. This has increased the durability by 50 from 120 to 170 and yeah that just means I can gather more copper and tin when we're out and about. So let's just shove this back here, keep everything organised and shove that onto there. So and I'll just put this wood away as well. I think that pretty much covers it for this episode of Complete Valheim. Next time, of course, now that we've got the bronze open to us, we can craft the basic raft. So I would like to do a little bit of a harbour down at the bottom of our base. Of course, now we've got carrots and bees. We can also think about crafting some of the more advanced cooking recipes. And that all comes with exploring out in the world a little bit further. We have now learned the location of the next boss as well, so that's something to think about in the future. I'm not so sure if we're going to cover that one in the next episode, but certainly want to venture out onto the ocean. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the Valheim content from myself. We're also doing some other survival series. We've got Ark Survival Evolved on the go at the moment with Scorched Earth. And we're just about to face off against the final boss on Scorched Earth. And comments down below. Of course, I know it always helps with the algorithm rhythm but more than anything i just enjoy reading them and uh, replying to as many as i can so thanks to everybody who takes the time to write some sort of comment down below but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you